The assessment is usually done in two parts. The first is a general assessment through an interview and with the help of a questionnaire. I will now take you through the most important parts of this general client assessment. The first topic covered in the initial client assessment is the trainee's occupation. It's essential to have a good idea of the client's daily work routine so your program can be designed around their current activities. If someone works long hours as a shift worker, normal programs might not be possible to allow and you, as a fitness coach, must be creative to help them manage exercise time efficiently. On the other hand, if your client has a lot of free time, you can design your program with more flexibility and less time restriction. It is your job to come up with a program that fits the client's schedule. For that, talk not only about their work, but also about other factors that can influence your ability to exercise. For example, many people have a treadmill at home or will be willing to invest in one. Also, a lot of people think that they don't have time to exercise, but they will be willing to take a short 20 minute walk during lunchtime. Some workplaces even have their own gyms and you as a coach need to find out all the options that could be considered in developing the ideal exercise routine. The lifestyle and parenthesis section of the assessment is where you gain more personal information about your client. Talk about what they like and dislike and which type of sports or exercises they have done in the past. Also keep in mind that people don't consider certain activities as exercise, even though they definitely are. Regular walks are a good example. If you find that your client does not have a hobby, try to think about possible sports or activities that they might like. For this also consider their sex. For example, a lot of women are afraid of resistance training because they think that will make them look bulky. This is a common misconception that keeps them from enjoying the benefit of a good weightlifting routine. The medical portion of the assessment is extremely important, but it has to be dealt with in complete confidence. If your client agrees to share the medical information with you, you must protect it and should never disclose it to third parties. If they don't feel comfortable doing this, stick to more general information. The most important aspects are past injuries, surgeries, diseases, or anything that might affect their ability to exercise. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like, and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook to your success, your health and wealth mentor.